1984, a dystopian society that depicts an overall power controlling the greater population. But how did Orwell create such a society? Orwell's experiences in the Spanish Civil War brought him into contact with Soviet forces, surveillance, and the use of language to manipulate history. With these experiences, he imagined a world which exacerbated the control governments had over people's lives. Orwell describes a totalitarian world where mind control is rampant. Governments impose a narrative for the people which they protect through surveillance, censorship, and misinformation. Surveillance. Trust in technology. The telescreen received and transmitted simultaneously. Any sound that Winston made above the level of a very low whisper would be picked up by it. Moreover, so long as he remained in the field of vision which the metal plaque commanded, he could be seen as well as heard. Orwell 3. Some examples of this are Google, NSA, and North Korea. There is a possibility that Google is spying on you. They can track your location through Google Maps, they can listen to you through your devices, Google Home, microphones, etc., and track your search history for personalized ads. Although this has not been used maliciously yet, the possibility that this information exists invites surveillance culture. Ever since the September 11th attack on the World Trade Center, the NSA and FBI have tracked Muslims even without criminal records. And North Korea has mass surveillance networks of computers and government informants that monitor device use and people's personal life, which is very similar to what we see in 1984. Propaganda is often a nation's go-to tool for misinformation. According to the Washington Post, Russia has just released a new law that makes it illegal to post what the country deems as fake news. So, in Russia, any news about the country invading and terrorizing Ukraine is illegal. What is fake news in Russia is whatever the nation says it is. It doesn't really have strict laws on this, so the officials can pretty much make it what they want. The Russian government is controlling and changing their country's history by covering up what they do in Ukraine. They claim that they are denazifying the country and performing military tests. If countries can succeed in shutting off their country from the world and subduing their conscience, then 1984 becomes more possible. World leaders often use censorship to promote their own version of history and the state of the world. Having or bringing a foreign narrative challenges the main narrative of a country which creates xenophobia. Uh, one example of this from 1984 is uh, in chapter 9 when Goldenstein writes, If he were allowed contact with foreigners, he would s discover that they are creatures similar to himself, and that most of what he has been told about them is lies. The sealed world in which he lives would be broken, and in the fear, hatred, and self-righteousness on which his morals depend might evaporate. Orwell, 196. Uh, an example of oppression by alienating others is how the Turkish government refuses to acknowledge the Armenian genocide to this day and suppresses anyone in its borders who speaks about it. The Russian government has banned the use of war to refer to its conflict with Ukraine. Um, again, an example of how controlling the past, or recent past, uh, can control the present, which is a major theme in 1984. Um, other examples include Trump calling the virus the China virus, uh, a statement which spurred a rise in a Asian hate. Uh, this follows a trend of scapegoating certain groups for problems such as uh, immigration and um, terrorism, which is blamed on uh, immigrants and Muslims, respectively. Um, and yet another parallel uh, of Trump manipulating emotions, uh, just like the Two Minutes Hate or Hate Week in 1984. Uh, so framing negative actions as positive ones also manipulate thought, which is heavily used by the four ministries in 1984. Um, the quote that uh, Orwell writes is, to know and not to know, to be conscious of complete truthfulness while telling carefully constructed lies, Orwell 35. Uh, this uh, parallels uh, Putin's ironic language since Putin calls his war, his, uh, war peacekeeping duties and states that Ukraine is plotting to create nuclear weapons, although he is currently the greatest threat of a nuclear war. Another example is Trump calling himself the most environmentally conscious president while denying the Green Deal and trash talking renewable energy. Uh, Trump uses the phrase fake news to refer to anything that discredits him or criticizes his leadership skills. He attacks the media and journalism to shroud his actions. His speeches, drenched in overconfidence, tried to make people believe him and reject the evidence of their eyes and ears, 
much like the party did in 1984. Cancel culture. Winston did not know why Withers had been disgraced. The only real clue lay in the words refs on persons. Withers, however, was already an unperson. He did not exist. He had never existed. Orwell 46. People use cancel culture to eliminate things that they believe are dangerous. But in reality, cancel culture itself is dangerous. There is no good use of cancel culture, since it aims to shut down voices instead of combating their arguments. If an organization could control what was wrong, right and wrong, then anyone who challenged it would be cancelled. This sets up a system for agreeing with the country's narrative. Governments control narratives through propaganda, nationalism, and censorship. Surveillance allows governments to enforce their reality warping skills, um, while those who are found challenging a country's absolute truth are discredited and forgotten. Although 1984 seems like an alternate reality, the tools to build such a society already exist.